we need to budget long term for cars. I'm going to tell you why starting right now. Let's talk about it. Okay, before we get started, if you like the videos we put out, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell. That way you won't miss anything when we put a new video out. Today we're talking about long-term budgeting for cars. And I want to tell you about this deeply because last week I sat with the VP of a major credit union and we discussed how long people keep their cars. You may be thinking to yourself that I, had a, I have a 72 month loan on my car or an 84 month loan on my car. Yes, people are doing 84 month loans on cars at seven years. But what this VP told me on average, people are keeping their cars about 32 months. So they're just getting a car that fits the payment range they can afford for a long period of time with no idea about how it's going to work out over that seven years, like every little dollar calculated for. Okay, the first thing we can do to help long-term budget for our cars is account for maintenance and repairs, like really account for it. When we have vehicles that break down, we typically can't afford to fix those repairs like tires, brakes, oil changes, stuff like that. But what we don't do a good job at is basically making sure that we realize how much that's costing us over a 32 month period. I'm using 32 months because on average, that's the length of time we were keeping our cars. And so we need to see exactly what this vehicle is costing us over that period of time. So when you have a vehicle that you have a long-term finance contract on and you're financing it, make sure that each month you're keeping uh, receipts, you're keeping, um, tabs or spreadsheet of something of how much money you're spending on that car for the life of the car or the, the length of time that you own it. That way, once the vehicle is done and you're ready to trade it in, you can go back and calculate exactly what it costs you to own that car. So I looked up a car that I like just to give you a base, a base point. I looked up a Land Rover Range Rover. I found out that on average, that vehicle costs $5,000 a year just to maintain and I'm not even talking about the repairs. When you go to repair that vehicle, it's another $4,500 per year on average. So you're looking at about $800 a month when it comes to just owning a Range Rover. So that's what I mean. Keep tabs of what you're spending on vehicles, not just the payment, but the tires, the brakes, the rotations, oil changes, fluid flushes, all of those things. And that'll help us get a bigger picture of what we're spending on our vehicle. All right, the second point is keeping an emergency fund for your vehicle. I'll give you a good example about this as well. We all want to make sure that we've got insurance in place, complete uh, coverage, full coverage insurance. That way, if something happens to your vehicle like a hailstorm or you're in an accident, we will have a way to replace that vehicle for what its value is at that point in time. What I have found that a lot of clients are doing is they'll have a car that's 10 or 12 years old, they'll have full coverage insurance on it, and the one loophole I'm finding is that even if you do, that, that car gets totaled, it's not worth enough to replace it today in today's dollars. So when we're staying on the topic of long-term budgeting, after about six years of ownership of a car, we need to start looking at what our replacement cost is going to be, whether it be a monthly payment you can afford or amount of cash that you have saved. The third point is it's time to start looking at alternative financing, leasing versus buying. When we really look at the average time that people are keeping cars, 32 months, that's less time than the lease, you know, a 36 month lease. So in a 36 month lease, you typically don't have any repairs or maintenance that is not covered by the manufacturer outside of oil changes and maybe a 30,000 mile service. There's not a lot of money that you're going to be spending on that car. So I would suggest that instead of just doing an 84 month loan, it's time to start looking at alternative finance options. Okay. To recap, make sure, you are accounting for service and maintenance. That's gonna help us project and account for all the money we're spending on our vehicles. Number two, find ways to have an emergency fund for your vehicle, especially if it's old. If you've got a 12 year old vehicle and you know it's good to go and you don't need to replace it right now, we still need to investigate what it's going to cost when, it, when the time arises. Number three, look at alternative financing options, guys. Leasing, you don't have to lease. I'm not saying that you have to, but it's time to start investigating which option would be better for you when we're discussing long-term budgeting for our car. Please like, share this with your friends, and if you've got comments, as usual, post it in the comments box, and don't forget to subscribe. I'm Ronnie Haskins. Hope you have a great day.